Hey guys, welcome to the Dog Father's Barbecue YouTube channel. I'm the Dog Father. Hey, uh, before we get started, hey, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, consider clicking on that logo down there in the bottom corner and subscribe. Become part of what I call the Dog Pound. If you're already a subscriber, Dog Pound, what's cracking? Hey, okay, so today I've got a cook going on, making some things for some customers. And so, you know, I decided, hey, let me go ahead and get this uh, collaboration done. I'm doing a little rib or uh, to be specific, a beef rib collaboration with some other YouTubers. So we're going to come with some uh, Central Texas style uh, beef ribs. You know, that's salt and pepper. That's what we're going to do. So tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my things together here. I'm going to bring you guys back in a minute and we're going to get this uh, beef rib collaboration going. You with it? Let's get it. All right, gang, so hey, as I said, we're doing a beef rib collaboration today. And so what I decided to do is I'm gonna do some uh, Central Texas style beef ribs. You know, we're good with that salt and pepper. And so that's what we're gonna use. So I'm gonna show you how I actually put that rub together and uh, we'll get these ribs seasoned up and get them on the pit. So uh, tell you what, before we get started with uh, the ribs, let's get the rub put together, guys. All right, I use a fairly simple rub. What this is is, uh, black pepper you know this is the type of black pepper that i like to use uh, it's got a great flavor uh, for me and um, i kind of like the back end kick that it gives you know it's not super hot but it gets a little bit of tangle so that's what i like to use so what we're going to do is i'm going to do a five to one ratio i do five parts of pepper So we got five tablespoons of uh, pepper added in here. And to that, I've just got some good old kosher salt. And so we're gonna take uh, one tablespoon of kosher salt. And we're gonna add that into the pool there. And then something that I like to do, I mean, this is optional for you guys. If you don't wanna do it, you don't have to, but I like to put uh, a little bit of celery seed into my uh, my rub so uh, it, it kind of helps to give you a uh, a little bit better of a, um, a smoke ring on your meat so I'm not actually going to use a full tablespoon but I'll probably use quarter to half a uh, tablespoon here I'm sorry so I'm going to add that in and that's what we're going to do for our rub guys it's that simple I, I'm not into getting those uh, super complicated rubs or whatever you know no nah, it's not me I like to keep things nice and simple and it yields uh, pretty good results. So that's why I stick with it. So we got that all mixed up and that's what we're looking like guys. That's gonna be our rub for these ribs. Again, we're doing Central Texas style. We like that salt and pepper down here. So that's what we're gonna do. So next up, we're gonna get these uh, ribs out of the package. And uh, before I do, I'll just show you, I didn't go with any super expensive ribs or whatever. Got these from my local grocery store, H-E-B. And so uh, that's what we're going to deal with today. Like I said, I'm not going with super, you know, prime beef ribs and whatever. These are just three bone plate ribs uh, that they pretty much split in half. And so uh, that's what we're going to use. Let's get these guys out of the package and get it going. This is what we got. You know, again, it's just uh, three bone, one, two, three, three bone plate ribs that we got here. And uh, that's all we got here. Um, they're not super fatty on the tops here. They kind of trimmed a lot of that stuff off. Um, I'll be honest with you. Typically, whenever I'm, I'm doing ribs, man, all of this stuff here that you see, I trim away and uh, take it all off. But I'm not gonna do that today, honestly. Um, I'm kind of pressed for time. Cause I got, like I said, some other things going on today and I'm sneaking this in as best as I can. So I'm not gonna take all of this stuff off. Uh, a little bit of the straggling stuff that's kind of hanging off, I'm gonna pull off. But uh, I'm not too super concerned about these ribs today. 
So uh, again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip them onto their uh, meat side down here as we start our seasoning. And yeah, they've, they've got a good little membrane here um, on here. And you know, hey, you can peel those off if you want to. Uh, I do it 50-50. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. If I don't peel them off, what I do is I score, I'll go ahead and score that membrane on the back. You know, and there's gonna be people to say, oh no, man, you always have to pull these off. And you know, people say, no, I never pull them off. It's, it's a personal preference, guys, it's up to you. Y'all do what you wanna do. Um, I'm just gonna score them today. And uh, I've had great results doing that on, board, on uh, beef or pork ribs. Um, you know, if I'm doing a mass quantity of pork ribs, man, I don't have time to sit there pulling the membranes off of 30 racks of ribs or whatever. No, I'm just gonna go score them up and keep it moving. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a uh, good old yellow mustard as our binder, guys. And so we got that on here. We're gonna kinda lather up the rib with it, move it all around. And then we're going to uh, simply uh, apply our rub here again. Whenever I'm grabbing my rub, I'll mix this rub up as I grab it because, you know, the salt will kind of settle to the bottom and we don't want that all the way down at the bottom, right? So we kind of mix it up, we'll grab and we'll start applying here. And we're going to make sure we get some on the sides of the ribs as well. And we'll go to the other one and get the sides on this one as well. Okay, and then again, never ever rub the meat, guys. You just kind of pat it. We're just patting it to, you know, help it set in place there. And we're going to flip it over and get to the other side. And guys, uh, before I continue, I apologize if it's super windy out here, but you know, we've been having some uh, storms come through. We had a big thunderstorm came through last night and moved out of here and uh, it's supposed to uh, be clear, but man, it looks like it's gonna rain again, but I don't give a damn, I'm barbecuing, man. I gotta get this done. All right, so now we're gonna get this rub put on the meat side. You know, and again, I'm not going super heavy with this on here, but you know, I'm putting a good amount on. We already pretty much got our backside and all the sides covered here. So we're just really concentrating on getting the meat side here. And you can go as heavy on this as you want or as light as you want. It really doesn't matter. But I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and use all of this since we got it, right? All right, so there you go, guys. We got our ribs all uh, seasoned up and uh, man, they're ready to go on the pit. And uh, today I'm using my uh, LSG vertical. So why don't I take you over to the LSG Lone Star Grills for those of you guys that don't know, and we're gonna get these ribs put on, all right? Let's go. All right, Dog Pound, so we're here at the LSG and we're ready to get these beef ribs on. So, uh, you know, hey, I'm running in the pit today. I'm gonna keep it probably between 250, 275. Keep these things rolling today. And uh, hopefully put out some really good beef ribs. So let's go ahead and get these bad boys put on. And we're just gonna lay them on and let it do what it do. So there we go, guys. We got our beef ribs on. Again, we're running the pit today at about 250, 275, somewhere in that range. We're using a uh, post oak, because that's what we like to use down here. You know, a lot of people say mesquite. Nah, I can't stand mesquite as far as smoking. I love it when I'm grilling steaks or burgers or whatever, but when I'm smoking like this, post oak. I love post oak. So, um, hey, tell you what. We're gonna let these things roll for a little while, soak up some of that heat, soak up some of that smoke, relax in what I call the smoke sauna of the LSG, and we're gonna come back in a little while, all right, guys? All right, I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, Dog Pound, so we've been in this cook here for a couple of hours, and uh, this is about the time frame where I start to look at my ribs and kind of pay attention to the color and uh, see if I wanna wrap them or not. Sometimes I'll put them on and smoke them the entire time. It just depends on the time that I have uh, to spend on smoking my meat. So 
let's take a look at these ribs and uh, let's see what they're looking like. So as you guys can see, um, you know, we still got a little ways to go. They're pinking up a little bit and uh, man, that pepper smells really good, but uh, they're looking pretty decent. I uh, don't think I'm gonna spritz them right now. I think I'm gonna just let them keep going. So let's get them back in and uh, bring you guys back in a little while. All right, dog pound. So, hey, we're a few hours into this cook. And what I decided I wanted to do was show you one of the things that I do whenever I'm smoking beef, uh, briskets or ribs or whatever. And that is onions. I take onions, guys. Uh, sometimes maybe one, maybe two, uh, maybe three. I'll toss some onions into the firebox when I've got uh, everything rolling. And uh, for me, I just love the aroma that it gives. Uh, it gives a little layer of flavor, and it's just something I like to do. If you've never tried it, I'd say try it. See how you like it. You might think it's bull. You might think it's something that's pretty cool. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys, and so I'm going to get a couple of onions tossed in my firebox, and I'm going to bring you guys along so you can see it. All right? Let's do it. All right, guys, so as I said, we're going to go ahead and toss a couple of onions in here. So I just popped this bad boy open, and there you go. I got a couple of onions here that you can see. And we're just gonna toss them in. Just like that, guys. That's pretty much it. After that, I'll go ahead and get this thing closed back up. And that's that. All right, dog pound. So, hey, we just got our onions put in the, uh, in the firebox here. And so now I wanna go ahead and take a look. And we're gonna see if it's time to go ahead and spritz these ribs, all right? So let's take a look at these beef ribs. So I think these ribs are actually looking pretty good here. They're coming along and I am gonna spritz them. So let's go ahead and do that right quick. Just like that, we got them spritzed and they're going back in. All right guys, so it's that simple. We just went ahead and pulled our ribs out, took a look at them. They're still rolling along nicely. We like where they're coming along too. So we're just gonna go ahead and spritz them, get them back in, that's what we just did. So we're gonna let them keep resting away in that uh, smoke sauna. And I'll bring you guys back in a little while. But I'm telling you, man, the onions in the air, oh my goodness, you gotta try it. All right, dog pound. So, hey, we're at that time right now where I'm gonna take a look. I think we're probably gonna be where I want these to be color-wise. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and wrap them so I can go ahead and get these uh, beef ribs done here. So uh, the only thing that I have done since the last time I had you guys here is I got some other things off the pit and I kind of moved these down to another rack and turned them. So they're gonna look a little different or in a different position than they were last time you saw. But other than that, I hadn't done anything to it. So let's go ahead and take a look at these things and let's see if we need to go ahead and wrap them up, all right? Let's do it. All right, let's crack it open, take a look here. And yeah, I think these are pretty much where I want them to be color-wise. You know, take a look there. They look pretty good. I don't think I want to get these uh, too dark today. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stop them right there by uh, getting them wrapped up. So let's get these things wrapped up. There we go. And again, just like that, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get these guys put back on the grill, on their smoker, and we're gonna let them keep going. So let's put them back to bed here. Get the uh, smoker closed up. And so, hey, just like that, we got these beef ribs wrapped up in our butcher paper. We got them to the color we needed, so that's why we went ahead and wrapped them. And uh, again, because when you wrap them up, you speed up that time for cooking. I'm a little pressed for time, so we got it going a little faster. So we got it wrapped up. 
back on the smoker and I'll bring you guys back when it's time to get these off, okay? All right, see you in a little while. All right, dog pound, so hey, we got our beef ribs off and they've been resting here on my uh, sheet pan here for a little while. And I'm gonna go ahead and get these things cut. I'm running out of daylight here. I'm running out of time, got other things I gotta get done. It's just been, man, not enough hours in this day, if you know what I mean. So let's go ahead and get these things cut. I'm gonna reposition so you guys can check this out. We're gonna get some beef ribs cut, all right? All right, here we go. All righty, so let's get these guys cut. And let's take a look, see here. And there you go, guys. Look at there. You can see that juice still just running out of there. Very tender. Look at that, just fell right off the bone there. Whoops. Look at there. Can you see that juice? That's craziness. Look at there. It's a good looking rib and man, they smell amazing. So I'm gonna cut a little bit off of here. All right, let's take a bite of this, guys. Man. Dude, that pepper, oh my goodness. I'm really loving that black pepper. And it's just got the perfect flavor to it. It was a very simple rub. You saw what I did. We just went a five to one. Pepper to salt, add a little bit of celery seed, and that's all we put on these ribs, guys. That was it. There wasn't anything difficult and all that. And this is seasoned just perfectly. So, um, yeah, man, I, I hope you guys really enjoyed this uh, deep rib collaboration. It's always a lot of fun. I wish I had a little bit more time to go really more in depth in it, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. I got a lot I got to do. I got a lot of barbecue I got to get out to people, so. Like I said, it is what it is. But um, just to recap, yeah, we got some beef ribs from our uh, local grocery store. We seasoned them up with our own little rub. And it was just uh, Central Texas flavors, man. Salt and pepper. Five parts of pepper, one part uh, kosher salt. And we used a little bit of celery seed. And we put that all in, mixed it all up, used the mustard as our binder. We sprinkled our rub all over these ribs. And we put them on that uh, post oak and let them smoke. We, uh, total cook time on this was uh, probably about seven hours. I smoked mostly at 275. I went down a little lower here and there, but mostly again, it was at 275 over post oak. And uh, man, we got it done. And these things are just, man, they're perfect. So um, yeah, man, this was a lot of fun. Beef ribs, guys, get out there, try you some. Don't be afraid of it. A lot of people don't like to try beef ribs. They say it's too tough, it's too hard, it's that and the other. Man, have fun with it. It's cooking, guys. It's barbecue, it's fun. Get out there, try you some beef ribs, get you some beef ribs. All the other collaborators that were a part of this whole uh, beef rib collaboration, I'm gonna put their links down below. Make sure you go check out their channels. Give them thumbs up. You know, uh, subscribe to them if you haven't already. Tell them, hey, Dog Pound's in the house in their comment section. And guys, other than that, you know what I got to say, right? Dog Father's out. Peace.